Welcome to our lecture and here's an example of how to work out absolute value inequalities and this is of a very special type where you have something within absolute value symbols greater than 2 over 9. And the way to tackle a problem like that is to rewrite that into two separate inequalities. One where you have the absolute value sign of 5 over 3 minus 1 half x. Oop, and without the absolute value symbols, that's the whole purpose of doing it like this, is by taking them off to be greater than 2 over 9. And then the corollary, in a way, is to write 5 over 3 minus 1 half x is then less than the negative of that number, minus 2 over 9, so that it falls outside the range of 2 over 9. If it's the positive answer, it's bigger than that. If it's a negative answer, it must be smaller than the negative value of that number. Okay? So now we go ahead and work those out separately. The first thing we want to do is get rid of the fractions, and so the lowest common denominator in this case would be 18, uh, because 3 goes into 18 6 times, 2 goes into 18 9, and 9 goes into 18 12 times. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 18, and multiply both sides, or I shouldn't say equation inequality, and multiply that by 18 as well. So when we do that, 3 goes into 18 6 times, 6 times 5 is 30, so we get 30 minus 2 goes into 18 9 times, 9 times 1 is 9, x greater than 9 goes to 18 twice times 2 is 4, and over here same thing, 3 goes into 18, so it's the same thing, that would be 30 minus 9x less than minus 4. There we go. So the next thing we want to uh, solve for x, so we're going to move the 30 over to the other side, over here move the 30 to the other side, so we have end up at minus 9x, is greater than 4 minus 30, and here we get minus 9x is less than minus 4 minus 30. Combining like terms, we get minus 9x is greater than minus 26, and here we get uh, minus 9x is less than minus 34. And the last thing we do is divide both sides by negative 9. Now, of course, when we have an inequality and we divide by negative 9, we have to turn the inequality symbol around. So this becomes a minus 9x uh, less than minus 26 when we divide both sides by neg negative 9. And over here we do the same thing. We're going to turn the inequality symbol around. Minus 9x is greater than minus 34 when we divide both sides by minus 9. So always remember, when you divide by a negative number or multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative number, you must turn the inequality symbol around. So here we get x is less than... 26 over 9, and here we get x is greater than 34 over 9. And so those are the two solutions, or the two portions of solutions. Both of them are correct, so we write the union symbol to indicate that it's this and that being the total solution. So if we illustrate that on a number line, there we go, here's the number 0. Uh, 26 over 9 is almost 3, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. One, two. The number 26 over 9 is just shy of 3, 26 over 9, and the number 34 over 9 is just shy of 4, 4 times 9 is 36, so just shy of 4, so over here we have 34 over 9. Notice that those two numbers are not included, so I draw open circles to indicate the endpoints. X has to be less than this, and X has to be greater than that. So everything to the left of that number is part of the solution, like so. And everything to the right of that number is also part of the solution. There we go. So, ultimately, x has to be less than 26 over 9, and x has to be greater than 34 over 9. For any of those values, we can satisfy this particular inequality. And that's how you do that problem.